Okay. So we're going to do quite a bit of these problems because they're really, really good practice. So all you simply need to do when you see a problem like this, because Daniel, hint, hint, wink, wink, you will see one of these coming up again. Um, when you guys see a problem like this, work on the innermost portion of the problem first. So inside our parentheses, inside our function, we have cosine of pi over 3. Can we evaluate for cosine of pi over 3? Well, is, is that what we did over there? Yes. Okay. So cosine of pi over 3. We need to figure out where is pi over 3. Well, if here's pi, then pi over 3 is 1 third, which is right there. What is the coordinate point for pi over 3? That is going to be uh, 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. Right? So we could say that the cosine of pi over 3 is equal to 1 half, just like we did for our warm-up. Does everybody follow me and agree with me? Is everybody okay with that? Okay. So now we have the arc sine of 1 half. So remember, arc sine, though, is, n is now asking us for the angle. So what is the angle when sine is equal to 1 half? Well, there's two angles when sine is equal to 1 half. We have this angle and this angle. This angle was um, pi over 6. This angle is 5 pi over 6. However, if you remember, on inverse sine, our domain is restricted, right? Yes? The domain is restricted. So therefore, our angle has to fall between negative pi halves and pi halves. So what is the only angle up there that's going to fall within that restriction? Pi over 6. So your answer on your test, on your quiz, on your final exam, hint, hint, wink, wink, would be pi over 6.